Hey 5 out of 4 fans, it's Laura again, and I am back with the Nancy Raglan. My last upload was all about the uh, swing adjustment, and today we're going to keep that adjustment and we're going to add a diagonal color block to the pattern. I love the Nancy Raglan, you all know that, I wear one nearly every single day. So let's make it fun and let's make it fresh. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. Alright, as you can see, I've got both the front bodice and the back bodice of the Nancy Raglan. You can also see that I've already done the swing adjustment. If you have not done that and you want to do this, you need to go back to the video for the swing adjustment and start from there and get that swing adjustment going. All right, next on the list is to tape together, I have uh, six, seven, eight pieces of paper. You are going to place, this is the um, Nancy uh, front bodice, okay? You're gonna tape all those blank sheets of paper together or one giant sheet of paper if you've got it, I just don't. And then you're going to trace all the way, the way around it. The goal of this is to make one solid piece that is the front bodice so that we're not cutting on the fold. So here we have the front bodice of the pattern piece itself and the trace bodice. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna butt these right up against one another and we're gonna tape them all the way down. So we have one, one giant <laughs> front bodice. All right, it's time to, to cut our bodice. What you can do is you can take this bodice piece, you can put it up against your body and mark which is the left shoulder and which is the right shoulder. Just This is just for reference so you know what you're doing. You want to pick whichever side you want to start from. I'm actually going to start from the right side here um, at the right at the, the, the edge of this kind of armpit sleeve area. And um, it's really up to you how you do it. But I'm going to take it, I'm going to take it from this point all the way down to this point. So we're just going to draw that line. I don't know how well you can see this. And even if you don't get it quite right, that is okay. You can adjust it as needed. There we go. Let's see what we got here. So I'm gonna change it just a little bit, okay? We're gonna go with it just below the armpit there. So here we are. Let me use my marker here, to give a better sense. There it is, that's the line that we're going for. Okay, we're gonna tape any um, part where there's a the, there's no tape, you know, and, they, and the pages overlap so that when we cut it, it doesn't fall apart. All right, so the next step would be to cut along this black line. All right, the cut has been made. You can see the diagonal line. You can also see that I've made a note to myself on both of these pieces, and it says add seam allowance. So you've already got a built-in seam allowance on these pattern pieces, except for when you cut down the center. If you do not add a seam allowance, then you're, you're losing fabric. So you need to add a seam allowance. I will probably add a quarter inch seam allowance. Some people will add three eighths, um, you know, and three eighths is kind of safe. Um, but I will add somewhere between one quarter and three eighths seam allowance just so that I'm not losing any fabric here and you don't want to do that. So you're going to do this on just the front bodice and we're going to work on the, the back bodice in just a second. All right, here we are with the back bodice. I've done the exact same, same thing with this bodice that I did with the front bodice. The first thing I did was I, I flung this pattern piece onto my back and labeled the left um, shoulder and the right shoulder. Now I know from the um, the front that I started on the right side, the right shoulder, and I came in, came down about one inch from this this edge from the uh, from the sleeve. So what I need to do first is mark one inch down 
from the sleeve so I have some sense as to where I start. All right. Now, you don't have to try to match up the colors. You can do this however you want. Um, it can be all kinds of different colors. You can do all kinds of different uh, designs or what have you, but this is just what I'm doing this time. Let me turn this around so I can see a little bit better. I'm gonna grab my straight edge. And again, the goal is to go from here, corner, to here, okay? So we'll do our best and we'll tweak it as we need to. Because right now, since my flat edge isn't Straight edge isn't long enough, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Let's see if we can, how well we did here. Not too bad, not too bad. So just take your time. All right, so there we have it. Better that time than the last time. And I'll go over it with a marker so that you can see it better. It's a little wonky because I can't draw a straight line. All right. Then you're going to cut across that line, being sure to tape where these pages come up so that you, your pattern piece does not fall apart. So next step. All right, so here we are with our pieces cut. Again, I've added the note to add the seam allowance. I would also make sure to uh, label this back because this bottom piece is definitely going to look similar to the front piece um, and the top piece already says back. Just so you know, you don't get your pattern pieces uh, confused later on when you want to come back and make yet another one. All right, so as you can see, this is the front bodice and I have um, cut my both of my color block pieces, okay? Now I'm going to take and I'm going to attach the color block pieces, so right sides together, and then zigzag, stretch stitch, or serge um, across this piece, and then you will have one completed front bodice. You will do the exact same thing to the back bodice. All right, here we are. The pieces are put together. Granted, the fabric is a little wrinkly, but I'm going to press the seam allowance up towards the upper part, the upper cream colored part, I'm gonna press it up and then I'm going to uh, top stitch, make it look all finished and lovely. Okay, once your top stitching is completed, you're just gonna finish this top as usual.